Hey, hello guys, Brian back here with a veracity update, all right? Obviously, this thing has uh, been having trouble the last couple days, and quite honestly, I believe that's been due to Bitcoin, but um, that's been dragging the whole market down. If you look at the crypto bubbles here, you know, if we put it on the daily, there you go. You know, that has uh, been dragging the whole market down for the week. Yeah, been beating everything up, okay? So, you can look at these big... Minus 23, minus 16, minus 25, 20, you know, been pretty big pullbacks here throughout the market. 15, 20%, all right, veracity for uh, this on the daily. Let's put it on weekly, see what the pullback has been for veracity for the week. All right, where do we stand? Right, this is a weekly candle right here, all right. Right now we are down 2.3%. Okay, of course, uh, you know, on the weekly here. All right, so there you go. At one point, we were down. Let's measure this out. And these are weekly candles. This is a weekly candle. 5%, okay, compared to everything else out there. Uh, not too bad. Brassity's been holding ground, okay. This is the top 100. Well, top 100 coins, okay. Uh, and obviously on the daily also down four but what I want to show you guys here if we zoom in on this chart okay number one we got that weekly that weekly RSI was heading up okay it's curved over because obviously Bitcoin pulling back here it pulls the whole market back if you're if you've been charting crypto for any amount of time you know that Bitcoin when Bitcoin pulls back everything pulls back it, 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 unless it is not cor correlated with Bitcoin it's gonna get drugged down all right now you can see that weekly RSI starting to straighten out uh, the daily okay our daily is doing the same exact thing as the weekly we're at a 24 and a 30 all right this daily started up right here okay now you can see that curve back over i truly believe a double bottom's coming in here on this thing the 12 hour is uh right up there starting to straighten out some you can see this ain't a straight pull down you can see it extending out a straight pull down would be like right here okay this thing's starting to curve back out the eight hour uh, just about reset. We have a green candle. Did we have a green on the 12? No, we still have a red candle on it. The four hour uh, has just started up. Okay, I, this is what I believe is going on with this thing. If you zoom out on it on the daily, all right, W formations are extremely uh, bullish formations. All right, M's are bearish. Okay, the M's are double tops, W's are w, double bottoms, whatever you want to call them. Okay, you can see an M formation forming right here. You got your pull up, you got your pull back down, and then you should have at least a pull back up to the same level to complete the W formation. All right, your breakout level would be right here on the. Uh, let me draw it out again so I can show you the breakout level. Your breakout level would be that level right there on the way back up. Okay, you got your W right there would be your breakout level. Right at uh, 0 0.0469. And then uh, these would usually always come up and at least come back up to where the W started at. So that's what I believe is going on right now we're at, with veracity. All right, now if you go over and look at Bitcoin, wait till I show you these. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning how to how to look at charts and read charts like this i have a members only um, level three membership that you can go sign up for there's seven videos in there right now i had at least a video a week uh, there's over four hours worth of content in there showing you how to use uh, draw trend lines uh, um, look for double bottoms uh, uh, rsi looking for bullish and bearish divergences um, every everything everything i have learned in the last four and a half years and reading charts thousands of hours and the hundreds maybe thousands of dollars i've spent on this stuff and uh you can go over there and uh you know for 24.99 um i think that's that's a pretty good deal but anyway let me show you these rsis on bitcoin these things are so oversold they have not been to these levels in a long long time all right look how low we are down here this thing's at a 21 okay that's the daily uh the weekly where is the weekly at on this thing uh it is still pulling down right at the moment okay look at that candle holy moly that is a bear that is a bearish 
uh, engulfing candle right there uh, look but uh, you can see now see that wick on the bottom that's what you want to see okay that's buyers coming in and, and buying them wicks up okay pushing that price back up right there with a 12 hour but you see uh, how low these RSI's are look at this down to 20 down here on the bottom see that how that pinkish color comes in extremely oversold the 12's just starting back up at a 20 and an 18 the 8 hour look at that down at a uh, 25 all right and at one point this thing was down holy cow down to a 10 and very very rarely will you see an RSI that low okay if it, we put it back on the daily for Bitcoin what a point I'm getting to I think there is a heck of a bounce coming up in this thing look down here okay right down here we're down at a 21 when's the last time Bitcoin was down there and this price action goes back I don't know straight to that level there you know right this area hit there once right here right before this big pop right there from 34 to 45 um, almost got there right here where it went from 17 up to 25 you know and then right back here uh, that was during COVID yeah right there there you go 2020 it was down that low and that was the beginning of the bull run you know where it went from uh, what was where did it go down to during there during COVID, four thousand bucks. Holy cow! I was in crypto then. I, you know, I just uh, just started getting into buying crypto then, and uh, um, but I was in the stocks and the stock market and stuff before that. But I just started getting into crypto right around COVID. Uh, but you can see what happened after that. It went from four thousand dollars up to sixty-eight thousand. But you know, just in that move right there, it went from four thousand to. 10,000 so it's been a long time since the daily RSI has been that low okay you have to get a retrace these things don't go up and down in straight lines all right usually when you get a breakout all right this thing came up came back down all right to retest that breakout level came back up came back down to retest this breakout level came back up is coming back down you know uh, I did, could be retesting this level back over here my point is these things don't go straight up and down they go down and they come up okay now if you put a uh, Fibonacci on this move this is on the daily Bitcoin should at least at least bounce back up to let's get a look here a 618 or 702 all right, which would put it back up at uh, 27, up to uh, 28,000 before it makes its mind up if it's going to roll over and keep going down or, or get back up here. All right, so that means if it, it's found a bottom, okay, which I, I believe it has found a bottom. I think that wick down there, um, I don't think this thing's going any lower. All right, that daily RSI is reset on Bitcoin. And I'm covering this because this holds a lot of weight for veracity. All right, if Bitcoin keeps falling, um, obviously veracity is probably going to get drugged down more too, or it's going to hold down a breakout. Now, if you look where Bitcoin wick to, look back here, previous uh, resistance, resistance. This is on the weekly uh, support over here that wick down. All right, then we got this wick down right here. So hopefully that holds as this support and this thing is found the bottom. The RSIs are extremely oversold. So if we start getting a decent bounce, that is obviously going to take veracity and it's going to straighten out these RSIs. These RSIs are going to start heading back up. All right, we got that daily. It's down at the bottom down here, but it's curving over because of Bitcoin pulling back. All right, we get that dub double bottom coming in here. And we get that W formation, and uh, that, like I said, that's what I believe is going on here with Veracity. I believe we just double kiss this bottom, and this W is coming in on this thing, all right? I don't believe it's breaking down any lower than that. I honestly don't. And not financial advice, not a financial advisor. I hate, tired of saying that stuff, but you got to. 
you know, I believe you know, if you look at charts and you know anything about reading charts or looking at them, I believe this double bottom is coming in right there. You know, technically, you almost have a, you have a triple bottom in here. You know, gold triple topped recently, which is extremely bearish. You know, is this a triple bottom in here coming in? That's, you know, look the way. We got to get a break out of this down sloping resistance line. That's going to be your first, if you're charting this, put that line on top here, on top of your wicks on the daily. As soon as we break that, if we break this resistance right here, then it's on. Then that thing should start chugging back up here. Okay, but that's what I think is going on with Veracity, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you very soon.